Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel. Today we're going to fire up the Kamado Joe Big Joe and we're going to do some pork belly burnt ends. So let's get started. Okay, I've lit a fire in the center of the firebox of my Kamado Joe Big Joe. So I'm going to lay a couple of chunks of apple wood on here to get a little bit of smoke rolling. And we're going to bring the temperature up to 250 and we're going to set up here for indirect cooking. I'm going to use both heat deflectors in the low position and I'm going to put the grill grates in the upper position. And I'm going to open the bottom vent about one inch and I'm going to open the slider on the top vent to about the first notch and I'm going to watch this as it comes up to temperature and if I need to warm it up I'll open this more or if I need to cool it down I'll close it. So we're going to let it settle in at about 250 degrees. Okay, while my grill's warming up I've gone ahead and taken this pork belly out of the wrapper and I've cut this guy into cubes and uh, just cubed up the whole thing into roughly equal pieces. Some may be a little larger than others, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to transfer all this to a mixing bowl. And then I'm going to drizzle a little bit of extra virgin olive oil over those, not too much. And then we're going to toss those in that olive oil and get them coated. And once those have a nice coat of olive oil, we're going to hit them with some barbecue rub. And today, I'm going to use Jess Pryle's Hardcore Carnivore Red. We're just going to toss a good bit of that in there and mix it as we go. And after we get a good coating of that on there, we're just going to put this back in the refrigerator until we're ready to go to the grill. Okay, our grill's almost up to temperature. So I've taken these uh, burn-in pieces out and put them on a rack. And we're going to shake another good layer of this hardcore carnivore red barbecue rub on top of these. That's looking pretty good to me, so now we'll take these to the grill. Okay, I've got the grill ready, so we're going to set this rack of burn ends right in the middle. And I've got a, a pan. I'm just going to use a pan under those to catch some of that grease. Because there's going to be a lot of grease coming from this just by the nature of the fact that this is pork belly. So we're going to close this up. We're going to cook at 250 for three hours. We've been going for about three hours here on the Big Joe, and we are ready to move on to the next phase of the cook. These things are looking amazing here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these off and take them inside for a moment. So I'm going to meet you back inside. I've transferred my burn ends into a clean foil pan and we're going to put about four tablespoons of butter on top of this and then we're going to add about a cup or so of barbecue sauce. And then I'm going to stir that up to get those burn ends completely coated with sauce. And then we're going to cover this pan with foil and we're going to take that back to the grill. And we're going to open the grill back up and drop these right back on and we're going to let these go covered in here for 90 minutes or so so we'll be back in about an hour and a half okay we've been going for another 90 minutes here so the next step in this process is we're going to open the grill up and we're just going to take the foil off and we're going to let those go for another 15 minutes uncovered Okay guys, we've been going another 15 minutes and it just worked out perfectly because it's come a storm here. So these guys are ready to go. I'm going to take them in the house. We're going to let them cool for just a minute and then we're going to have a taste. Okay guys, I've taken two of these things out. They smell amazing and they're just fall apart tender. We'll going to have a bite. Hmm. Guys, that's amazing. This stuff is, this is melting your mouth. This is unlike any other burnt end I've ever had. Burnt ends are traditionally made from the point of a brisket. When the flat of a brisket is fully cooked, the point still got a little bit to go and a lot of pit masters will separate that point and cut it into cubes just like we've done here. But since it's mostly cooked at that point, they go straight to the, uh, they'll, they'll season it with a little rub maybe and some sauce, put it in that foil pan and cover it up and throw it back on the smoker for 90 minutes or so and finish it up from that point. But 
with the pork belly, we did the uh, original smoke there at three hours, and it turns out that's just about perfect for this. I don't think I'd change anything about this, so give this a try. Join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Kamado Joe. Follow us on Twitter at Kamado Joe. And until next time, this is John Setzler with the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel.